To love Jehovah your God and to serve Him with all your heart, with all your soul. Then I will provide rain in your land for its proper time, the early and the late rains, that you may gather in your grain, your wine, and your oil. I will provide grass in your field for your cattle, and you will, be, you will eat and be satisfied. Beware lest your heart be seduced, and you turn astray and serve God to others, and bow to them. Then the wrath of the Lord will blaze against you. He will restrain the heavens so there will be no rain, and the ground will not leave you yield its produce, and you will swiftly be ban banished from the goodly land which Jehovah gives you. Place these words of mine upon your heart and upon your soul, and bind them for a sign upon your arm, and let them be to fill in between your eyes. Teach them to your children to discuss them while you sit in your home and while you walk them away, when you retire and when you arise. Bind them as a sign of, oh wait no, sorry. <laughs> and write them on the doorposts of your house and upon your gates, in order, in order to prolong the days and the days of your children upon the ground that the Jehovah has sworn to give your ancestors, to your ancestors to give them, like the days of heaven on earth. This is kind of <laughs> and certain and established and enduring, fair and faithful, loving and cherished, delightful and pleasant. Awesome and powerful, correct and accepted, good and beautiful is his affirmation to us forever and ever. True, the God of the universe is our king. The rock of Jacob is the shield of our salvation. From the generation to generation he endures, and his name endures, and his throne is well established. His sovereignty and faithfulness endure forever. His words are living and enduring, faithful and delightful forever to all eternity. For our forefathers and for us, for our children and for our generations, for all of the generations of your servants, Israel offspring. Upon the earlier and upon the later generations, this affirmation is good and enduring forever. True and faithful, it is an unbreachable decree. It is true that you are Jehovah, our God, and the God of our forefathers, our King, and the King of our forefathers, our Redeemer, the Redeemer of our forefathers, our Molder, the Rock of our salvation, our Liberator, and our Rescuer. This has ever been your name. There is no God but you. The Helper of our forefathers are you alone, forever. Shield and savior for, savior for our children after them in every generation. At the zenith of the universe is your dwelling, and your justice and your righteousness extend to the ends of the earth. Praiseworthy is the person who obeys your commandments and takes to his heart your teaching and your word. True, you are the master for your people and a mighty king to take up their grievance. True, you are the first and you are the last, and other than you, we have no king, redeemer, or savior. From Egypt you redeemed us, Jehovah our God, and from the house of slavery you liberated us. us. All our their firstborn you slew, but your firstborn you redeemed. The sea of reeds you split, the wanderers sinners you drowned, the dear ones you brought across, and the water covered their foes. Not one of them was left. For this, the beloved and praised and exalted God, the dear ones offered him songs and praises and blessings and thanksgivings to the King, the living and enduring God, exalted and uplifted, great and awesome, who humbles the haughty and lifts the lowly, who draws the captive, who breaks the humble and helps the poor, who responds to his people upon their upright to him. Praises to the supreme God, the blessed one who is blessed. Moses and the children of Israel explained to a song to you with great joy, and they all said, Me come.